All right, it's about that time. It is the changing, the changing of the guards. It is the spooky season officially. And um, as much as Jaws can also be counted as a spooky movie, which I sure do, uh, I think it's time. I think it's time to move over to the Universal Monsters backpack and start start being a little bit spookier. The ever important Saltines. My Honest Beauty face powder, peppermint hand sanitizer spray. Oh yeah, nice and minty. Peppermint oil, never go anywhere without that. Now you will go on the new backpack. If I can fit you on there. I hope so, there we go, perfect. Okay, we are all ready to go. Thank you, Jaws. You did a great job. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the seventh edition of Halloween and fall decor hunting videos, which by the way, I kind of been thinking like, maybe that's a little bit too generic for what we're trying to do here. Uh, I don't know, I was thinking maybe something a little bit different. Maybe, someone gave me this idea in the comments section of calling this series the Spooky Shopping Channel. And I think I like that. What do you I think? I love it, madam. And I love being the driver yes. on the Spooky Shopping Network. Hello. Thank you. Tampa J back Hi. here with us again. What's going on, We're doing everyone? Some spooky Man, shopping so much today. Fun. Yeah, I know. We're having too much fun doing this together, so it's it's happening on the weekends. Hey, you can't have too much fun. Yeah. So you, you have a whole lot of good fun. That's right. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll let you handle this. So on this uh, on this episode, we are heading over to the St. Petersburg area again. And we are going to a different uh, shopping complex that should hopefully be a one-stop shop for everything that we're wanting to see. Uh, there's a couple of new stores in there that we haven't seen yet on the channel, as well as some old ones, old ones that uh, we're gonna see what updates they have out there for the Halloween, for the spooky, and for the fall stuff. So, without further ado, let's go. It's time to get spooky once again. We gotta find Halloween. It's like practically here. It's at our doorstep, so let's go. Let's get spooky, let's go. By the way, thank you to my good pal, George, for uh, sponsoring this video's coffee. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing better, buddy. Been thinking about you all the time, sending good vibes your way. Cheers, thank you, George for the spooky coffee, I appreciate it, buddy. Okay, we are at the complex. I think first up, we're just gonna start at the end here and then make our way over to oh, the left, I guess. It's all right down the row here, Yeah, so we're, We'll start at Home Goods, AKA the place that uh, Halloween Horror Nights is buying their decor. Yep. We may po even we're pop into, the, uh, we may even pop into Five Below just cause it's might here. Typically, be early, but typically they have stuff. Yeah. I have stuff, probably more than likely. Probably not now. I don't know. We'll see. We'll pop in. Maybe PetSmart. We Maybe might they have some Halloween stuff. Oh, true. They pets. may have some some good call. I'm glad I brought We're you. We're just along. gonna go right down the line. Yeah, here. and then Tuesday morning over there, and then we'll probably move the car and keep going that way. So we're gonna pack in a lot a lot in this video, so hold on to your spooky hats, everybody. We're going in. So we haven't been to Home Goods for a few weeks, uh, at least on the spooky shopping channel. Um, so they have definitely upped their game a ton since the last time we saw them. First of all, I gotta point out I the skellies <laughs> on the slide. slide. It's hilarious. Somebody actually oh, sent wow. me a picture of these guys a couple weeks ago, and it's just, it's hilarious. $130 for the sliding skellies. It's so worth it. Also, what's up, little pumpkin guy? Pretty sure I saw you in I that Halloween say the same Horror Nights. He was, he's a tribute store. There's one of these at the All Hallows Eve Boutique mm -hmm. at Islands of Adventure. At Islands of Adventure. We just saw it the other day. This is just one aisle, one example of how jam packed full of Halloween it is 
in here. Now we got a lot of stuff to cover today, so I'm not gonna go through everything in tons of detail. We'll just point out our favorites, the things that catch our eye. I just wanted to give you a quick visual here of what we're dealing with. A lot of adorable little ghosties and uh, gnomes, of course. Plenty of Halloween gnomes. These ghosties here, or at least a version of it, definitely in that Halloween Horror Nights Chubby store. Also, take a look. There are those mousies. I pointed out the mousies in my video. If you saw it, they put them in the store too. And also, probably the the pumpkin guy here. We're thinking the pumpkin guy. If not these exact ones, very, very close to them. Oh, good find, Tampa J. That will definitely come alive at night and oh, wreak yeah. havoc. It reminds me of Puppet Master. Oh, yeah, true. And if you are new here, we also look for fall on the channel as well, on the spooky shopping channel. And look at all of the beautiful glass pumpkins that they have here. Oh my gosh, I want all of them especially this really pretty purple one with the shiny pink stuff going on over it that is absolutely gorgeous $15 that's a that's a steal in my opinion hey okay, we've reached Ray Dunn City Ray Dunn City and again if you're new to the channel we have a love hate relationship with Ray Dunn and by love hate I mean <laughs> no I offense Ray kind of not super a fan but I know a bunch of you are so I'm going to show it anyway but uh, look at all these mugs. I do like the colors of the mugs, I'm not gonna lie. Like the lime green and the like bright orange, that's right up my alley. And the matte black, like I really like the matte black. Yeah, cool. Also, the mugs that have like the toppers on them are so darn cool. I really want one myself, but I haven't found one that isn't Ray done someday, but you know. Oh, you've done it and I do, I do have to admit the the witch's hat down oh, here. Oh, a cookie jar. Or that's, candy jar. That's kind of adorable. I do like that. What you got there? Candy dish. That's cute. I like that. Is there anything on the inside? No, just black. That's cool. I like it. So if you've been around the Spooky Shopping Channel for a little while now, this may look a little familiar because we bought a pillow that had like this exact same kind of print on it. The colorful skellies. One of them juggling the candy corns. That one's this is my favorite. My favorite. You like that one. That one's a good yeah. one, too. They are so cute. This is a table runner. That's adorable. If we had a table, I'd say, let's go for it. Oh, that's a cute one. The yeah, pumpkins. Adorable. Okay, Home Goods definitely has you covered for, like, the party supplies and stuff like that. Lots of, like, big buckets and big, uh, like, chip and dip kind of uh, bowls. That's what that is, a bowl. <laughs> also noticing... Oh no, a sugar and cream set? Look at this. That looks cool. Oh yeah, that looks like the They're like vintage-y. looks like our tea. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. More mugs with the really cute little um, toppers on them, which I swear, they didn't have the words. It's probably a good thing that they do because I literally buy all of it. But um, check out this canister. This canister, oh my gosh, little ghost. This canister is like giving me all of my oh, life yeah. right now That's this cool. is so cute very kind of simple and plain but it just has like the stars and the moons on it that is adorable and this is a really adorable little teapot here we actually have something very similar to this that we got the last time we went to home goods but i didn't film it i didn't have my camera with me at the time but um it's actually a cat one it's a it's a little teapot but it's like a vintage cat some sometime i'll show it to you all but uh, this one's a pumpkin, that's still pretty cool too. And look at these, I think these are just canisters. Just jars, not candles. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought you'd like those. Oh, they're so darn cute. That's my favorite salt and pepper sh shaker I've seen so far. Those are solid. We do yeah. like our salt and pepper shakers here on the channel too. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. These look like they belong inside of a Halloween Horror Nights tribute store if I ever saw them. I have some really super cute, super cute bakeware here too. I like the ones at the bottom that just has the little ghosties oh, yeah. around it. Very adorable. Oh, I see a vampire Mickey um, pitcher type thing 
over there. A Nightmare Before Christmas, of course, too. And then Jay found all of these super, again, absolutely adorable little like cupcake sets and baking things. They are so cute. By the way, I know I said early on, we're gonna do some spooky baking eventually. I have not forgotten. I swear I have not forgotten. Just gotta get like a few more things, AKA like, you know, recipes. And we're gonna do it. We're definitely, we're definitely gonna do it. Some people feel differently about this, but me personally, I'm all about the different colors with Halloween too, and the pastels and all of that. I don't have a problem with it. Just makes it even more year round for me. Like these stack of blue pumpkins here, these little jack-o'-lanterns, absolutely adorable. I really like them. Jay really likes them mm -hmm. too. But getting back to like the quote unquote like normal colors, these little jack-o'-lanterns are really, really cute too. And then behind us, I can smell it. No. this aisle smells amazing. They got all the candles you could possibly want in here. It just smells so good. Got the puppy stuff over here. Oh goodness. Oh, she would be, oh my gosh. She would be adorable. Or maybe she needs some Oh, spooky some jim jams. jams. Some spooky jammies. Oh, sorry. Trying not to do the baby talk. But they're just so darn cute. Yeah, so you if you have pets that really enjoy playing with toys and whatnot, they, they got you covered here with the Halloween stuff. <laughs> Hilarious! I didn't think it was gonna like spaz out like that. That reminds me of Daisy. Yeah, this is like my Daisy. parents' dog. Kind of just like there cute and fluffy Check like that. Out. She kind of spins around like that too. She watches, but She's she doesn't sing. She doesn't sing like that though. All right, we're getting into very, very dangerous territory here with the spooky pillows. Ooh. Which again, if you're new to the channel, I love me some spooky pillows. Oh, I see one. There's some really, like these beaded ones are so one cool, so beautiful. This one back here is catching my eye though. Sweet and spooky. The little ghosty with the little pumpkin trick or treat thing and the cat. There's a purple cat. That is so precious. Not mad at the pastels and the Halloween. This is so cute. I know it looks like very kid-like and it probably is meant for like a little like kid or something, but that is right up my alley. I love that. They have pastel spiders. Come on, home goods. What are you doing to me? You got some pillows that you're dying to show me. I don't know me. if I like this one. Uh huh. Or this one more. This one reminds me of your backpack. Yeah, my my backpack that, that would, I just that switched up cool. earlier. Audio yeah. Bed. That is adorable. They're really cute too, yeah, with the little leggies. Flamingos. This is ours. <laughs> Whoopsie. One last look at Halloween here at at Home Goods. We're gonna pay. Yes, we did buy a few things. Just a couple this time. We're gonna head over to the next store. No spooky stuff at five below. Not yet, but pro tip. They have, they usually have some pretty darn cute uh, chokers and like necklaces and stuff like that. Actually, they have a lot of really good stuff here at Five Below. I don't know why I haven't been shopping here more in the past, but that's okay. We can make up for lost time. We got some Laffy Taffy Three though. Three for one, Laffy Taffy. Five Gotta Below is Laffy Taffy. awesome for you want candy, a joke? quite frankly. Go why on. Why did the GPS coordinate get kicked out of class? Why? He had a bad latitude. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, can you guess where we are at now? This is so We're cool. inside of PetSmart, and look at this. They have some really adorable Halloween decos for your fish tanks. I would like and to put this such. Anywhere, right? On a table. But yeah. He's got black and These are reactive. super cool. Yeah. Flushed too soon. That is freaking hilarious. They even have Sir Henry. Yeah, they do. Oh my gosh, they have Sir Henry. Oh, <laughs> how cute. Shout out to Sir Henry. Look at the skellies that are scuba diving. They got a creepy little Jack in the Box clown here. Whoa. Very cute. Got some Halloween for for the kitty cats in your home. Oh, oh so cool. goodness, little fun house. 
And a little, a little circus. Sorry, I'm going in baby it's mode here, but this just, just too darn adorable. A little spider wand here, very cute. Oh, and even a spooky cat laser toy. That's funny. Oh, hey. and look at the little harness. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so darn cute. It says it's great for trick-or-treating. You can take your little kitty trick-or-treating. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I want a cat so bad. We'll get a cat. These are so cute. These are like, oh, all of this is like Hocus Pocus. Yeah, this is ho all Hocus Pocus right Themed. Here. So they got a Hocus Pocus little cat tunnel, a little pop-up tent. That is super cute. Little Some catnip beautiful. toys. A Binks cat toy here. Oh. That's cool. And don't think that your adorable little gerbils can't join in oh on the gosh. Halloween fun too because look at these absolutely freaking precious little costumes. Of course, you got your classic pumpkin here. A little lobster, he could be, they could be a little lobster over here. Or a corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guinea pig. This is so cute. Oh, here's my favorite. Yeah, I was gonna Sonic. say this one is definitely easily the best one. Besides the corn cob, the corn cob is corn cob's pretty good. Pretty high up there for me, but the, the little Sonic the Hedgehog for the guinea pig. Oh my gosh. We're a big potato. I'm about to get a guinea pig just so we can dress him up. Y'all, you can even buy spooky paper bedding for your gerbils for your guinea pigs for your rabbits all kinds of stuff oh wow that would be the level of crazy i would be at for sure if i had a if i had a pet that needed this some more stuff over on this side too and um fun fact i used to own gerbils i used to have uh, a number of gerbils. Back in my day, they were so much fun. I loved having my gerbils. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not even sure I told you that. Uh, but these are super cute, like all of these little things that they can chew on. It's so cool that they've included, uh, you know, the gerbils, the rabbits, the guinea pigs, and the Halloween fun. Like, that's, that's adorable. Look at this little fun house, little hideaway thing you can put inside of their cage. Come on now, this is adorable over on this side halloween costumes for your bearded dragons oh my gosh and they have cute little uh, decor pieces that you can put inside of the dark their cages the too did you see this one oh wow that's so cool the dinosaur yeah the dinosaurs legit that would look amazing yeah just look, not in aquarium look at all of these little costumes little cowboy they could, you could have a good cowboy and, and a bad cowboy, little scarecrow, old oh, days of the dead, or oh, the little witch. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh my oh, god, the little spider. It's so, so, so freaking cute. Here are the gerbils, by the way. Look how adorable like they are. Yeah, he's a black one. And then there's a little sand one over there. Oh goodness, didn't mean to scare you. By the way, they're using the Halloween bedding in here too, so that's what it would look like. I'm not gonna buy a gerbil. I'm not it's gonna buy a gerbil. I'm not gonna buy a gerbil. I'm not going to buy a gerbil. This is the first Silence of the Lambs thing I've seen all season so far, and it's at a pet store. Who would have thought? Little t-shirt for your puppy dog. Little buddy's gonna go as Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> and I have I wonder to... if he eats his own kind. Probably with uh, some fava beans. A and bottle a nice... of Chianti. Yes. And Chianti. a bottle of kibble. <laughs> I don't know. I have to point out the It uh, uh, Georgie one here too. Very cool. And they even have little trick or treat containers for your pitch too. Oh. Looks like they are actually full of treats. Full of treats. As well. And uh, speaking of treats, they got all kinds of oh. Halloween goodies for your fur babies. These look delicious. Yeah, I want to take a bite out They seriously do look delicious. Something tells me probably shouldn't eat them. First, they have lots and lots of, uh, you know, costumes and stuff like that too. Could be a little devil dog. Those are delicious. A master dog. <laughs> As the Sanderson sisters yep. would say. Yep. Master. Master. They got really cute little collars here as well all of the halloween colors very cute you can pick up 
the your your puppy's uh, unmentionables with uh, with style as well. They even have Halloween themed waste bags and little waste bag dispensers. And look at the little shocks. Oh, they're so so cute. I think they've actually always had these out. I don't think they're Halloween They're not seasonal, no. Specific, but here. it's still really cool to see the Stranger Things stuff, although it's pretty darn picked over at this point. Hawkins but jersey. It's still, it's still pretty cool. Okay, next up, Tuesday morning. Oh, wow. That's a nice one. Okay, now we have been to a Tuesday morning before on the Spooky Shopping Channel, but um, this is a different Tuesday morning and it's definitely, you know, a couple weeks later. So they definitely have a lot more stuff here. A lot of fall. Looks like a bunch more like glass pumpkins and wreaths and wooden pumpkins and more wreaths. Big old gargoyle tombstone is so cool. It's quite sizable so he, too. His eyes light up. He might yeah. make sound, but he, yeah, no it's not working right now. That's okay though. That is really cool. Yeah, they got a lot of a lot of Halloween stuff here. Seen a lot of really cool things. Of course, the spooky house. I think I pointed that out last time too, because it's just so darn cool. This one here is really neat. It's like made out of glass. Fifty dollars for this big old spooky house here, and got a bunch more like wooden figurines these um i guess the witch heads are sold separately so i was like why are the witch heads like on a stake that's weird uh but yeah the, the witch heads are are separate that's kind of cool actually i don't hate that oh wow this ceramic coffin is literally like everything the bat on it and then the like the white like etching around it is so darn awesome. $13, okay. I think it's some kind of like canister or something like that. That is, I might be coming home with me. Wow, that is really cool. Sir Henry, another Sir yeah. Henry. Yeah, it lights up. That's really cool. And then down here, these uh, tombstones are catching my eye again. Looks like you could have a whole bathroom set oh, of tombstones. So you have a little thing that you would use for your hand soap and then this just like little tray thing here maybe for like bar soap or you know rings or whatever and then a really cool canister in the back. Wow you could have a whole spooky bathroom set up here that is awesome they have a lot of really pretty tablecloths here too and like dish towels all kinds of really really cute dish towels like this one the cat oh my gosh the cattle lantern oh no oh oh no and all the fuzzy blankies yeah. too these are really nice. I like this one actually. It's a all orange one, but it has like the imprints of the pumpkins on there. If you don't want something that's like overtly spooky. Yeah, lots of really good options for the blankies. Look at this. Yeah, that is a, that's a really pretty witch hat that's actually. Cool Maybe I should here. start wearing those for, for the channel. Huh, I'll have to think about it. Speaking of that, lots of really pretty Creepy witch dolls witches. here. Yeah, I would wager that these would also come alive at night. Idea. So, just to recap a tiny bit, start off at Home Goods. So, a lot of good stuff there for the home, per usual. And then um, Five Below didn't have anything, but PetSmart sure had a lot of stuff for pretty much every single pet that you can have, even your fish. And your lizards. And your lizards, and your guinea pig, and etc. etc. Um, and then Tuesday morning definitely had a few more things. By the way, um, I did get some. I did get some things. I can't. I can't help it. I'm trying very, very, very hard to bring it down a notch for this video at least um because one we've already been in all of these stores before um and then two with the exception of PetSmart but I didn't 
buy anything from Pet Smart. But, um, and then two, my car's AC is getting fixed finally, finally this weekend, and it's costing quite a lot of money for As me. We so, expected. yeah, we kind of expected it. So, uh, most we were both finally had the time to get it fixed, and then it was just like, you know what, enough is enough. Spooky season is about is upon us, and we're both gonna be doing our own things uh, in the future as well. So it's like I got it. I had I just had to get it fixed. So anyway, I'm not buying that many things, but I am still buying the things. So per usual, there will be a haul segment at the end. So make sure you stay tuned. And we're about to head inside of a new store for the Spooky Shopping Channel party city and i'm very excited about this and i know you are too let's party let's go party city oh yeah we're gonna head inside very nostalgic back in for my sure day, this is where we bought all our cool halloween masks party city uh-huh east central indiana okay they do have halloween but first we have to show this oh a flamingo my gosh. Sippy cup Baby, you need it. A shark? I and think we both need one. these. I think you're right. So we got some skellies here. $60 for the skelly. They're a pose and stay antique skeleton, huh? Okay. As opposed to the new fashioned uh, skellies. That's a lot cheaper than uh, Spirit Halloween. It was a lot cheaper than Spirit Halloween. Um... My Mr. Skelly at home, I got for $30, if I'm not mistaken, at Ooh, At Home, which we great. will be heading up again very, very soon, I promise. So we'll we'll see, but I am keeping an eye out on the Skellies an to eye see out. how much they are. And check this out, I, a golden, golden Skelly. Those are fancy. Okay, what'd you find? This is amazing. Michael Myers over the Judith Myers grave, just like from the movie. That is legit. That is so headstones. cool. Yeah, there's, little, all there's the a ton here. of tombstones here. Oh my gosh, these are huge. Whoa. These spiders, seven and a half feet with light up eyes. Looks like they're $75. They are adorable. Very sizable, obviously. It's almost giving me the heebie-jeebies and I like spiders. Speaking of spiders too, they got these like really creepy, creepy ones here. Let's see. I don't know if any of the light up things are gonna work, but I guess they change colors. This one's missing an eye. Oh no! Up north, there would be a lot more leaves during the fall, of course. So uh -huh. we bag them up, you know, put them in the yard. And these were always like on on the edge of driveways, like driveway runners with candles. Oh on. yeah. Okay. To there you go. To There's let them know, hey, you can walk up yeah, to the door and get candy. You can get you can trick or treat here. Cool. Oh wow, this is really cool. The chop shop. Oh yeah. 100% all natural body parts. Look that's at some that. that's some good eating right there. Too. The most killer candy bucket award goes to Michael Halloween 2. Check Halloween this out. Halloween 2. Okay, that okay, is that's my favorite thing of the year so far here cool. on the Spooky Channel. Oh my gosh. Wow. How much is that? $25 for the Michael Myers candy dish. Easily oh. one of the coolest things we've seen all season. That'd make a good popcorn bucket too. Season. That is cool. Lots of spooky socks here too, by the way. Oh my gosh. These outdoor, or traditionally outdoor decos here. So stinking cute. The ghosty that we saw earlier in a big size. And look at this, a little vintage cat. It says Boo on it, has an adorable little bat. They're only $10, y'all, $10. And I don't know if you can see, but it has like little mittens on it. Okay, this is, this is probably coming. Oh I'm my gosh. Bingo. Is that seriously ten dollars? No, but it can be. Seriously, this might be one of the greatest things I've ever seen. It's a poncho, a ghost poncho, and it's not even for children. It's for the adults. What if I rolled up into every single haunt that we do this year in a freaking ghost poncho? 
That is very tempting. Party City usually has like, you know, a bunch of costumes out like year round. But of course for Halloween, they go all out and they bring out a ton of stuff. So sure we're gonna check out a couple of things. Nightmare on Elm Street, very classic. Chucky, it. I remember uh, Michael Myers. My brother and I getting a Michael Myers mask from Party City back in like the mid '90s. Yeah, and those uh, Mickey Mouse headbands you no. were looking for. So this is what needs to be worn at Magic Kingdom by everyone. <laughs> They're doing it wrong. That'd be hilarious. Again, like, what if I just rolled up to Disney every single time and wearing these? You ain't doing it. I'm doing headbands. it. Headbands. Well, I can't put them back up. There we go. In all seriousness, they have very pretty costumes here and lots of different kinds too. Of course, I'm drawn to like the pretty sparkly fairy wings and butterfly wings here. Very cool. And then Jay was pointing out like these beautiful Days of the Dead masks. Yeah, they're pretty like, they're substantial. Very, yeah, very substantial and uh, intricate. This pretty like butterfly headband here is really nice. Yeah, they have, they, they really do seriously have a lot of good options here. They have a lot of makeup here as well, both for your like spooky costumes, but also, I don't know, just in general, like look at these really pretty spooky nails. Do we need to buy some press on nails? I haven't done press on nails in so long. That might be kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. $20 for a half gallon of blood. That's not a bad Medio price for some blood. Sangre. Okay. Not to think about that. Ooh, blood scabs. Ooh, that's a good bucks. purchase. That's a deal. Halloween to standing decoration is a life size Michael, Michael Myers. Owen is, is, okay, I've yeah, seen one of these. Cinematic uh, sounds in action, sound motion, and foot pad activated. Yeah. That's really cool. $220 for Michael Myers here. And again, it's Party City. So, of course, they have your party supplies all taken care awesome. of as well. I really like these bloody disgusting paper plates That's that you want to hand make your a statement <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> and a whole nother aisle down here full of Halloween costumes as well. We will definitely be back to Party City by the way because they're gonna put out a lot more stuff as the uh, the season goes on here. That uh, sultry spellcaster costume you've been looking for here at Party C City. Honestly, I would literally wear all of this like on a normal day. Like I literally, I literally would. Oh my gosh, but I do need a witch nose. <gasps> Look at all of these pretty little witch hats as well. And let me tell you, the prices for these are more than reasonable, especially this pretty oh, yeah. thing That's here with all the moons and the stars and the big old ribbon. It's only $17. Come on now. Looks like a Nokia cell phone. Oh, it's a 90s kit. And the very small glasses. That's hilarious. Although this might be more 2000. I think you're probably right. Yeah, but let me tell you, I definitely had so many <laughs> butterfly, butterfly clips, clips that look just like these. And that was in the 90s, so they got they got some of it right. Oh, and check this out—they have a they even have a Walkman here. That's that's pretty funny. Oh yeah, and that toilet paper costume, the padded butt cheeks, and the man-eating shark costumes oh, yeah. that you were looking for—they're here at Party City. Oh man, did you see the pizza one? <gasps> pizza face. That's so pizza cool. It kind of reminds me of Pizza Face from all that, but a little more horrifying. Horrifying. Yeah. There's some good ones here. Some really yeah, scary masks. Yeah, I like these because they're not like masks. They're not so like not good, but they're just great. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I think I know what you're Dark saying. Dark Side of Gilbert. This kind of reminds me of the creature from um, Monster Squad. Ah, oh, gotcha, yeah. I remember how much the pop-up coffin was at I Spirit, but... I want to say significantly less. Yeah, I think I, think I got my right? pop-up coffin from Party City. I'm pretty sure I did not get it from a Spirit, so that's not a bad price. It's huge. Trust me, you can fit a full body in there. Don't ask me how I know that. Anyway, let's look at all of these skellies here. Will you marry me? Look at all... <laughs> oh, wow. 
What did you find? That's a big old weapon. I just saw it and I thought it was cool. <laughs> I see that, yeah. 30 bucks for this. That's not bad for a big old bloody saw. $20 and it moves? Heck yeah. Best That's saw. a great price. Also, check out these incredibly horrifying faceless creatures or what they're calling it. These are very tall and the arms are very long. It's actually, it actually is legitimately giving me the creeps right Ooh, now. I like that. They're $40, which is more expensive than the other yeah. hanging decos that we've Solid. seen. And yeah, I can see, I can see why. That's very unsettling. Watch it, he's about to touch your butt. Hey, hey. don't do that. That's, that's my butt. Get off of my butt. Good job. And by my butt, I mean Tampa Jay's butt. That is a good Riddler costume. Riddle me this, <laughs> riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black bat? That's cool. A coffin fog, coffin machine. fog machine. That's awesome. They They're That's fifty dollars, and a smaller one, a they have a little one too. Okay. Obviously the more what? Cool. The more fog. Oh, the four hundred one is the fifty dollar one, by the way. $80. Okay, this one's eighty dollars. Did you want to grab a straw bale? I usually do. Every since year. we're here, I put like my pumpkin on it. The little ones are five. The bigger one is ten. You know I mean, I'll if you wanna, you will hold off. I'll hold off. I usually get it when I get my pumpkin. Uh huh. I'm sorry. I'm very traditional. No, that's okay. I un I, I definitely understand. Gonna pop inside of Tarjay really quick just to see if they have anything and also get some puppy food. For oh, the Bella. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. And Target does indeed have at least some fall. They have some pumpkins here, which is one of my traditions to always like get a pumpkin whenever I go to Target. Uh, we will see if that happens this time. We've been at Target a couple times and I did pick up a couple of pumpkins, so we'll see. They got some pretty fall pillows here too. And some pillows over here and some blankies and also some general like signs fall signs pumpkin pie they got the gnomes thankful grateful and blessed hello fall eat together live thankfully gather often and it goes on and on and on and on okay hey, this is also important Pillsbury they pumpkin. have Oh, those are so darn good. Those are pretty good. good. One year I had cats. There were black cats on those sugar cookies. I'm talking like, I don't know, almost a decade ago, and I've never, ever, ever seen them again. They only do the pumpkins and the ghosts. And the ghosts. Hmm. We're staring at this too long because I think we need to grab one. And we're hungry. Yeah, I am very hungry. You want one? And also, they have, they're starting to put out some pumpkin spice creamers as well and coffee too so I already got mine <laughs> I already got mine like last week uh, so very excited about that I literally almost cried in the store it's definitely still back to school season over here school just started, uh, started today, today I think yeah over here so this isn't a surprise I figured it would still be back to school we're gonna keep checking though any day now. Okay, back in the car after all of that. We are now going to get some food and then head back home. And then I will show you all what I purchased today. What we purchased today. Poichest, poichest. Quite a few different things actually. So I'm really excited to show you all what we got. Check it out, this Tijuana Flats is even a little spooky cool. in here. Although I'm pretty yeah. sure it's like the Zombies. year this round. Zombie yeah, Elvis. that's really cool. All right, Bell, you ready? Are you ready for this? Just flop it down. Are you ready Just for this? New pitter. She's got a new bed. Oh and she goodness. Loves it. She likes it. Yes, you do. You <laughs> like the bed, don't you? She's, She's like out. trying to make a puppy nest or something. Yeah. Oh, good job, Bella. <laughs> so this is the first thing for the uh, the girl. haul video. We got Bella, this really adorable peanuts, Snoopy. specifically Snoopy. And it's Snoopy's birthday. Spooky bed for for the Bella. Happy and yes, birthday, it's, Bella. it's actually Snoopy's 
birthday and we're kind of just deciding that you know what today is bella's birthday too because i got her a long time ago obviously when she was a puppy and we didn't know her birthday we just knew it was august mm -hmm. so why don't we just make it snoopy's birthday happy yeah. birthday bella happy birthday bella bella's a beagle in case you couldn't tell so we got her a nice little bed here yeah. for her Oh, she's happy. That's my girl. She's, she would be uh, seven today. Yep, seven years old. Okay, so this will actually be a rather quick haul video because I really didn't get that much stuff this time around. As I said, I'm kind of trying to, I, I tried to limit myself because again, the car is costing a lot of money. So at Home Goods, I limited myself to one item, one item that I knew I couldn't live without besides the, the pet bed that we did get from Home Goods too. But we went ahead and got the blue pumpkins here, the stack of pumpkins. We both really loved the color of these. It's not something that you see every old spooky season. And it um, looks like you put a light on the bottom there and then the whole thing will just kinda, kinda glow. So I think I'll try that out maybe with a candle or something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really, Really excited about this one. Again, love the color. You just don't see it every day. So this is from Home Goods. And then from Tuesday morning, I did get the coffin little canister thing here. So like a lot of things that I get, I'm not 100% certain what's gonna go in here. Um, it may be like a jewelry thing or I'm, I'm not really honestly sure maybe i'll put some seashells or some crystals i don't really know but the fact that it was a coffin and had the bat and like the white like little detail on the end almost like it's like a stitching or something like that i just think this is a really really cool little piece here so had to get this it wasn't that expensive either and i did get the cattle lantern dish towels as well. These are just so stinking cute. Oh, those are adorable. I could not <laughs> leave the store without them. I love my pumpkins and I love my kitty, my kitty cat. So this one's perfect. These will definitely be on display in the spooky kitchen. And then finally from Party City, I did get the cat, the big cat. A uh, hanging thing that will probably go maybe on our porch. I don't know. Maybe on the front porch. It's the boot cat. We will see. Okay, I'm just demonstrating it. Yeah. It, uh, so the the arms here, like they're on wires, so those extend. So you yeah. can see his little boo and the bat and that jingle jangling you hear. It comes with bells. That's as well, that is scaring Bella half to yeah, death. Yeah, I was like, what's going on But right uh, now? yeah, it was just too cute not to get. I kind of regretted not getting like a, an outdoor thing for our porch or whatever from um, Old Time Pottery. So I was like, correcting that mistake, we are getting something. Bella is actively... She's breaking it in. Actively. Ah, oh, she was. <laughs> she was like making her little yes. puppy nest. Oh, how cute. She likes it. And then also from Party City, I got a Pez dispenser and some Pez too. This one's a little bat and he poops out the Pez. So I couldn't help it. Haven't had Pez in a long time. And this one's a bat. It was calling my name, so I got it. That's going to do it for this installment of Halloween decor hunting, fall decor hunting, and now I think officially, I think I'm officially gonna go with the Halloween shopping channel because I think that that is adorable. Let me know in the comments officially. below what you think of the name. If you have any other suggestions, although honestly, I really kind of like that one, so. But uh, hey, let me know. I'm always open to open to options here. I just thought it was time to finally like have it. like a name, like a good name, like an official name for what we're doing here. So um, anyway, again, hopefully you enjoyed this. We're gonna be doing some more spooky shopping very, very soon. If it's your first time here, subscribe below. She's got a lot of awesome Halloween haunt stuff already for the 2022, uh, a lot of hauls in the future and there's uh, something 
always something in the future, the especially future. the spooky stuff. So thank you all for watching. Give it a thumbs up. We will see you very, very soon. And make sure you check out Tampa Jay's channel as well if you like the spooky stuff. He thank does you. a lot of spooky things as well. So, okay. Well, bye everybody. Della's channel will be coming soon. Thank you soon. for watching. Ooh, Ooh, that would be cool. Maybe. Uh, Bella's channel. Oh, earmuffs, maybe, maybe. Bella's Ooh. channel. That would be cool. I don't know what she would cover, but... Bella the Beagle. Bella the Beagle. Walks in different parks. Mm -hmm. Today's park with Bella. <laughs> I don't know. Today I saw a dog and I barked quite a lot. Bella should have her own YouTube and channel. And a vlog. She'd be a, lot, she'd be a lot more successful than either of us I know combined. A lot of... Yeah, yeah. I think. I don't know. She's so cute. We're going to compete with you, bet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I see a lot of like Instagram dogs of Instagram. Oh, yeah, but Instagram is for sure. I always thought sure. about making her own. Yeah, it's hard like, enough to keep up with our own. With our own. Instagram. <laughs> another Instagram. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe yeah. if we get a cat, maybe we'll do a joint. Bella oh, and, Bella and the and cat, whatever the whatever cat's the name, name will probably, be. Probably, uh, let's, let's be honest, it's probably going to be Phil Collins. It might be Phil Collins. Phil Collins Bella and the Phil cat. Collins. We were like, is this a band? Is this a new band? Phil Collins? I feel something coming we'll in see. the air tonight. We'll see. Cats ahead. That's all I'm going to say. Cats ahead. Okay. Dogs do. This has gone on long enough. Well, bye, everybody. Happy birthday, Bella. Bye -bye. Happy birthday, Bella. Snoopy. Bye-bye, everybody.